hello guys welcome to the current series of jmeter tutorials so in this video we're going to learn about windows proxy settings and you can see that how we can use jmeter right so before that let us just see that what all things we have already done and what we are going to cover in this particular video so over here we are already done with the uh, introduction part where we learnt about what is jmeter and how we can download and install it then we learned about what is performance testing and how we can uh, say what are the fundamentals of performance testing in uh, with jmeter then we also learned about how we can install jmeter on a mac machine as well right and the idea about how we can crack an interview right now the next thing is windows proxy settings so in this we'll be learning about the proxies what are proxies and how do they work so let us just quickly start about it and say let us just first get an idea what a proxy is right so over here consider this is internet right and uh, this is our computer right now the thing is to get access to the internet what we usually do is we simply connect to it and the simplest way is this that we send in a request and the internet gives us a response right now the thing is that the requests are going directly and the responses are coming directly now in, in, in terms of jmeter what we do is to record this whole scenario whatever I'm doing over here in my internet browser right I may need to record that now to do that what we can do is that we can make use of a proxy right so what is a proxy server proxy server is something which listens to the requests by the users right and let me just do one thing yeah so which listens to the requests by the users and it acts as the internet for the other users right so over here now this means that we are not sending in the requests directly to the server right then how the requests are going actually so instead of sending requests to the server directly we are sending in the request to the proxy server it is uh, say processing that request and then it is forwarding that request then after that what we're doing is um, the server is responding with the data now the server thinks that this is a computer the normal computer that is this is me right and for me this acts as the internet right so over here the response it will get it will uh, the proxy server may get to read that response and then it is forwarding it back to me right so instead of go going with the direct way now we have a man in the middle right now this man in the middle what it is doing is it is just logging things okay it may be logging things it may not be logging things but it acts as a gateway right so this gateway provides us access to the internet but not a direct internet access instead it provides us access through this now the thing is that we would be making use of this concept to make use uh, make record of few things so what are the things that we are going to record and say what is the request say requested url right so we'll get to know about the requested url and what was the response right but in case of jmeter will be majorly concerned about the url and its parameters only so these are the two things that we would be making use of right now over here how would we be able to do these things right now whenever we have a proxy server it has its uh, identification marks for example say on what port it is running right so port now port is considered as the door right so door number you can say that now it is the number on which it would be interacting with the user right so usually whenever we work with jmeter the default port number is 
8080 or 8000 right it depends so let us just see that in jmeter what is the default port number over here right now where you can see that that is the main thing so over here i'll open jmeter and here to check that what we have to do is that we have to right click over the test plan then non-test element and then http test script recorder here you can see that the default port number is 8888 right so port number is 8888 it is not 8000 it is 8888 right so it would be interacting with the user on this particular port number only so we have to specify this now the next thing is port number is done now the address where it would be and say listening to the request so by default if you are running it on your local machine that means the own the computer in which your jmeter is running and you want to record the things this becomes local machine so this is local host right it may be termed as this as well so 127.0.0.1 right in case if, if it is a machine on the network then you have to specify the ip address of that machine how you can see that now in case of windows or linux the command is almost same so open the terminal in case of uh, linux open powershell or command prompt in case of windows and just type in a command so what is that command the command is very simple in case of windows it is ip config and in case of now uh, linux it is if config if you run if config in windows you may see something like this and right now it is saying is it is not recognized as a cmd let or function right so it won't run a linux command over here it would run ip config here right and i made a spelling mistake so let me just specify it correctly and you can see that it is telling me that my ip address is this that is 192.168.100.120 so all the computers need to specify this address so that i can record the data now the question is where do we need to specify these things right so over here ip and port number so in my case the ip is localhost and the port number is 8888 and i would need to specify them over here in one thing place that is uh windows let me just start it okay so here open the start menu right and look for something that is internet options right now this is the option just open it and you'll see a window something like this simply go to the connections tab here in connections tab just go to the lan settings then over here choose this option that is use a proxy server for your lan and specify the address localhost and 8888 now click on advanced as well and you can see that whether this is specified everywhere or not then click on ok and ok and you're done right now whatever communication we you make with this um, say internet this would go through the jmeter proxy server right so this was about the proxy thank you